Hi guys, today's DIY is a bench and this bench is pretty simple to make. It's only three boards that you'll need and I cut mine um, 48 inches long and the legs are each about, yeah, they're 18 inches um, high, which um, for me, because I'm so short, is a little tall, but it's for the end of my bed, so it doesn't really matter because I really won't be using it to sit down. And for this, I have seen a few farmhouse or farm table, farm benches, I'm sorry. And uh, they have this kind of triangle in the center, um, which appeared to be legs. And that's what I did. But I just drew it on and then I uh, drilled it. Since this is a pretty thick board, um, I, I went ahead and turned it around and did the same thing on the other side so that the triangle could come off. Because it's pretty thick. I think it's, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's about a uh it's a one and a half by nine inch board and these brackets uh, are not they look like corbels but they're brackets and i found them at hobby lobby about four years ago and i got them 50 percent off they must have been six dollars and i got them for three and i have six of them so i thought i'd use uh, two for this bench for more um i guess stability or I don't know I just so that it could hold better and in case anyone sat on it it wouldn't um, fall apart so I didn't know if it was gonna uh, hold with just the three pieces of wood so um, I just centered it on the legs and then uh, with a pencil I went ahead and marked it and then I pre-drilled the holes you want to pre-drill holes so that the wood doesn't split So I did that on both ends, the same procedure. Procedure sounds like surgical term. Does it? <laughs> Maybe not. So that's it for the legs. That's how I secured them. Um, it will hold, my nephew sat on it and uh, he said it was pretty sturdy. So I was happy about that. And Lola is always on the way. So on top, I did go ahead and screw um, two uh, two-inch uh, screws, and I also pre-drilled it. And I screwed um, four of them in just to secure it, more security. And that's how it looks. And then I sanded it down and I stained it again with Jacobian stain. I think it's Minwax Jacobian. And after it was dry and I wiped it down, I went ahead and painted uh, it with a flat um, white paint from uh, Home Depot. I think it's also Minwax, I'm not sure. Uh, but I always use that brand when it comes to large pieces of uh, furniture or wood. Um, I was gonna use chalk paint, but it's, uh, it's harder to work with because it dries so fast. And then um, I did the kind of like not the wet distress but almost dry distress it's like dry to the touch but if you sit on it you may actually uh, leave your butt imprinted on it <laughs> so you uh, go ahead and and um, just distress it while it's like that and you'll get chunks of paint come off and then I use the this uh, it's like an orange uh, beeswax from Home Depot as well and that is just my um, not my stain but uh, just to seal it and it also brings the the undertones of the stain it brings it out and that's how it looks after it's all done and this is where it sits now in front of my bed and I love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know um, in the comment section down below and um, I hope it was clear. If you have any uh, concerns, um, let me know and I'll answer every question. So thanks for sticking around. I know this was a long video. I usually don't do long videos, but um, 
this wasn't a lot of work. It was actually pretty simple to make, but it just takes time um, because of the drying process. And I think that's what takes the longest, the um, actual staining and the painting and all of that and the distressing. But this is how I, I styled it and I, I like it a ton. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.